What's up, everybody? In this video, we're going to cover how to install Kali Linux on a Raspberry Pi 4. I've got this little Raspberry Pi right here that I'm going to be installing it on, and we're going to do this no fluff, no BS in under five minutes. As always, if you like the channel, hit the like button, subscribe, comment down below, et cetera, et cetera. Let's get right into the lesson. OK, first things first, you're going to need a Raspberry Pi 4. I just go to Amazon, type in Raspberry Pi 4. Now you can get the most sold model, which is this one with 16,000 reviews for $158.99. A little bit pricey. It's gone up since COVID. Unfortunately, this is what this one looks like. I actually bought this Argon Neo model, which is the same thing, same board, I believe. But it also comes with a case, comes with this 32 gigabyte uh, SAN disk drive as well. So I think this is a better deal for 160. I'll link them in the description below, but you absolutely need a Raspberry Pi to continue on. The next thing you'll need, of course, is Kali Linux. If you go to Google and you type in Kali Linux download and you click on Get Kali right here, it'll bring you to this screen. Now we're going to need the ARM edition. So it's the first one here on the left. Click on that. And then you need to select the ARM version for your Raspberry Pi. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4. However, I'm using a 64 bit model. So make sure you download the correct version. All you have to do is hit download here and that'll start your download. Please note the downloads on this website, no matter your internet speeds, are incredibly slow. You may have better success using the torrent instead. The next thing we're going to do is download a tool called Etcher. So if you just type Etcher into Google, the first thing that comes up is Belena Etcher. Go ahead and click on that. That'll take you to this website. And from here, you just need to download what version you're running. So if you're running Windows, go ahead and download Windows. It's got Mac OS and Linux. I'm actually going to download the portable version here. Super straightforward. That'll start the download. And once it's downloaded, go ahead and meet me on the next screen. Now, as I mentioned, it comes with this micro SD card. I'm going to go ahead and just plug it into this micro SD to SD converter. And then I'm going to plug that into this USB to micro SD here. And this will allow me to run this on USB. You can also just use a regular old flash drive, though. If you do, it can be kind of bulky when you put this in like that. You can get one of the smaller flash drives as well, but I prefer just using the micro SD. All right, next up, we need to flash this. So we're going to go flash from file. I'm going to grab this Linux version that I downloaded. I'm going to select my target. Here's that 32 gigabyte device that came with it. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then I'm just going to hit flash. Now, this is going to take a few minutes to process. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here and I'll see you back in just a minute. OK, the last step, you are brought to this login screen. And all you have to do is type in Kali Kali. So let's say username of Kali, password of Kali. Hit enter, you'll get logged in, and congratulations, you are all set. You have installed this, and we have done this in under three minutes. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel.